Hey pack leaders, this is Hino with Friends and I are protecting families from the pack. I want to do a video on how to document your experiments on the bot. Now I would kind of say if you're not documenting, you probably, it's probably not even worth the testing or even like trying to test anything because I've done it. <laughs> okay, because I've actually you know ch made changes and come back like, uh, what did I just do? Uh, and then, and then you're like, oh that didn't work, and then you're like change more and change more and then you start to move away from your baseline and you're like now I just gotta start from scratch because I even know where I started what ended what worked and what not okay so here's a way to kind of uh, document some stuff here all right so first thing is you want to kind of create a journal and I think what's what's good is maybe just saying the, the time the date the time and your P&L and I would also say maybe your wallet balance so I think I have uh, and I do this on my um, OneNote you might maybe do it on a spreadsheet, which could be the spot, the same thing, I'd say. Uh, the only cool thing about that is that you can add extra notes on there, and that's the reason why I uh, do it. Right there, this table to the left. And I just put wallet PL or wallet BTC. So I kind of see whether it's going up, going down, whatever kind of thing. And then um, I'll kind of document what, what I did. Uh, you know, 1% loss or sideways. This is what I want to do. Getting stopped out long, and it kind of just make a journal entry of what I did. And so, I I had a, a stop of 1%, but with a bigger wallet, it just keeps hitting that real easily, so it keeps getting stopped out. And so I might made it to 5%. I was like, okay, cool. But uh, you know, it kind of helped. But then when the, those big 5% moves happen, or to my wallet, then you start actually hitting them and taking those losses. Okay. So it seems like. Um, to me, putting these stops tight and you know with volatility of it all, you can't handle it and you eventually get stopped out constantly with that. So now I made a little journey into what I want to do. So I was like, hey, you know, I want to you know set the sideways uh, with QCP off so I can take bigger profit. I'm turning off take profit immediately. I'm setting goal to uh, take profit based on two transitions. And then set the take profit entry for sideways and you know whatever you know whatever I want to do I'm kind of documenting that and then I make the change onto the file now when you make the change onto the file um, here well that's not it let me go to my other one uh, oh, where it is? okay there it is let me minimize that so when I make the change to my VPS here okay so this is called GitHub. You can download GitHub des on desktop pretty easily, and uh, once you you do it, it'll set up a you, know, you set up a um, a depository or, or repository, and it's gonna create a new file on your folder. So I put in my, my documents here, and what they do is they actually turn all your spaces into uh, dashes. So you're gonna have to deactivate your license and reactivate it because the folder name's gonna change. Okay. So I drop all my folders and files in there, and then I will be able to monitor all my changes and document them in here. So then I can check in history of what I did, and I can comment on it, my initial commit, and then uh, each change I can kind of see what's going on. I got it working to enter my direction, but I took loss immediately when it goes against this with these or you know all that other stuff, right? And then you can also create branches that stem out. Okay, so you have a main branch, which is maybe what you took. You find a setting that worked, then you publish into here, and then uh, once you're in here, then um, you can then switch that branch and say, "Hey, this is my working my working branch." Um, and now I'm a, I'm a, now I'm on a working branch, right? But since uh, this is on a live account, I shouldn't have switched it because now it's changing all my settings to the working setting, right? And uh, I'm I'm actually on my this is where I want to be. So this is change the present. Oh, okay. So then, uh, so then, when the bot's running, it's it's gonna be recording and doing stuff. So you might want to stop your bot and um, you know make your cha make your changes without the bot running because as things change, it's gonna run into issues. So I'm gonna discard all these changes on my main setting, discard it, so it's good. Then I can switch over to my proven setting, which is what this is. And this is the history of what happened. Yeah, I took a loss here and I loaded the QCP. So you can make your comments here and uh, you know and whatnot. Okay. So now let's say for example I'm here and I want to maybe increase my goal a little bit. Uh, let's say I want to maybe lower my goal. Actually, I want to increase my goal. 
let's increase my goal to 2.5 percent okay so let's go ahead and do that i have my bot stopped and let me see what my wallet is for I think I'll, I'll forward, okay so that should be 16 to 1 ratio that should be really less risky you can hit that goal really easily uh of course i'm risking more and um i feel like that's kind of what <laughs> the idea is left you know scare money make no money you got to make you got to use a lot more money to make the money that you need and even though it's two and a half percent it's really easy for a 40 percent wallet to do and then just be out and done but but that two and a half percent for the wallet it's like it's like a lot right but of course you risk more to get that okay all right so uh it can do actually do up to five percent for eight to one ratio but lower than two and a half that's that's a million in a year all right and just getting in and out quickly all right so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and now adjust here and say hey uh increase increased uh roi roi daily 2.5 percent all right so that's what i did and i'm gonna increase that and then let's say um you want to do some other comments like you know hey that's my topic but uh, what did i change well i increased this one so i'm gonna go and copy that in copy that so then i know exactly what i what changed was this one and i commit that to the proof yeah no yeah i think i want to commit this to the proven so i i yeah i send it from the proven settings and then now i have the setting now let's say this proven setting worked right and i want to actually commit it to the the main setting so what you want to do is you want to choose a branch to merge into proven so let's say i switch to main and then i want to commit the new one to it so then i go choose a branch to merge into main so i want the proven one to go into the main merge it everything goes into the main and now we are on the main working branch so once that's there uh and then uh, let's say i want to make a new change i put a new branch and i say hey uh testing if uh higher roe you know whatever testing higher five percent re so now i'm going to create that branch so it basically creates a branch five percent of the main one so these two should be the same all right but then now I could change the 5% ROE, go back over here, everything should be changed, and then I could then test the 5%. And then if I create more changes and then I, I messed up on that, I can always revert back to the working branch. So I put change to 5%, commit that, and I can run the setting, and let's say the setting sucked, well, let's forget that branch, let's move back to my, my main branch that was working. And then, or you know, spin up another one, new branch. Uh, that was a bad one. Start a new branch, and then start uh, changing it from there. So that way, you always have a one working main branch that's there. And if somehow you messed up along that branch, you can then go back and say, hey, uh, maybe I should have went back to this third root one, six percent overnight, and I'll revert to this commit and change it there. And then you can see all the changes between the current file that you have and uh, the new and the and this change here. Okay. And they line it up side by side so you can see what's changing. Of course, uh, these transition points change all the time. Uh, what probably matters is what you actually uh, change here. Maybe the simple tick loss or whatever. Maybe the auto adjusting is probably more important to look at this stuff here. Okay. Current. Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so, anyways, that's how you use the uh, GitHub uh, to um, document your changes. And so. Uh, you know especially when you have two three different bots and they're all changing and stuff like that it does get kind of confusing between which one so you definitely have to document that it's not like you have photographic memory because i don't so good thing we have documentation and uh, that's how you would document change and make sure, sure you uh, preserve a work improvement setting and then you can all branch off and spawn different branches to change them and then if they don't work you always have something to work with okay all right thanks for watching we'll talk to you then